Welcome to New Sphere Business. My name is Ronald Hughes and today we're going to talk about how to become a super salesperson. A um, couple of quick things. The first foremost is, is that uh, you need to understand that there are stages of development that you'll have to go through in order to achieve uh, the superior sales position. But before you start going there and everything, I want to talk to you about what those stages and steps are. First and foremost and everything, when you start on sales, you are in a state of unconscious incompetence. Uh, you don't know what you need to know and you don't know where you're going. You move from there uh, as you develop and you learn more about selling into a state of consciously incompetent, which is understanding a bit about where you are. Now, a lot of people seem to think that the, the, uh, the, 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 the state to be in is, is consciously competent. And consciously competent means that you understand what you're doing and you know where you are and how you're doing it as you're going through it. And finally, the, the, the final state is unconciously incompetent, uh, or con uh, consciously incompetent, which is, is that you know the, the right way of doing it and you're just not doing it. Okay. First and foremost, the reason why we want to talk about this and what ha all of this has to do with being a good salesperson is, is that you'll find salespeople out there who have manipulated themselves, uh, who are manipulating everyone around them, and you feel it immediately when you're in a room with them. Uh, the guy might know very well what to do and how to do it and what he or she is imparting uh, that will help to maneuver you into the position. The issue is is that most of us feel it and as soon as we feel it most of us want to get away from that. If you can avoid a salesperson who's being like that you will avoid them. Uh, my suggestion is is that you should understand everything about what your body says, that you should understand everything about what your words say, you should learn how to structure sentences and then you should forget it. It's really important that you forget it and about it because of the way our brain works, it doesn't enable us to do the things that uh, we want to do in sales if we're focusing on, on ourselves and our methodologies. It's like singing. You've got to forget that you're doing it in order to be good at it. You've got to learn how to do it in a particular way and then work your way from there. My suggestion is is that, that the easiest way to ever be really, really successful as a salesperson is understand the steps and stages of the sales process. Understand questioning and learn how questioning can enable you to find out more details about customers' needs. Once you understand their needs, you can present how your product or service benefits those needs and work from that position to the one where you're able to ask them for the order. Now the thing is is that it's important that you understand that uh, we are likely to learn more if our emotions are fixed at the time of the presentation as well. Actually what um, they discovered relatively recently is that something like 10% of all the cells in our brains are mirror cells and what they do is they actually look to learn all of the time. Now, the funny thing is, is that uh, you can stimulate those cells into becoming more active by uh, affecting your emotions into the conversation. If you like someone else, if you're interested in them, if you really want to meet that person, you want to love them, you'll learn more about them. Uh, you'll learn more and once you learn more, you can make more suggestions about things that are good for them. And I hope this tip is useful to you. I hope you get some place with it. Uh, if you need any help, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks a lot. Good day.